for this video we're going to look at equations in the form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c where the center is minus g minus f and the radius is the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c so just to confuse matters in the previous video the center was hk now it's minus g minus f because we have a different form to write our equation in so let's look at a few questions here now these formula are in the formula booklet on page 19 so if we look at a few questions that relate to this, it might make it a little bit easier. And let's see, can we get away from using the formulas? x squared plus y squared. So we're going to try and find the center and the radius. Minus 4x plus 6y minus 3 equals 0. Now, the way I like doing it, you've done completing the square before in algebra. We want to get x squared and minus 4x. So we have to have x minus 2 to be squared. But this isn't just x minus x squared minus 4x it's x squared minus 4x plus 4 so this 4 we have brought into our equation and we don't want it so i'm just going to write it underneath for now similarly with the y squared and the 6y we would have to have y plus 3 to be squared to get y squared plus 6y plus 9 so that plus 9 we don't want so what, what have i brought in here i've brought in plus 13 but i actually want minus 3 up here I've brought in plus 13, so how do I get from 13 back to 3? I take away 16. But instead of writing take away 16, we bring the 16 across so we can look, we can just change that to an equals, equals 16. So that's the way I like teaching these questions, and I'd like you to attempt them this way, which eliminates the need to use the formulas. So we can see here the center, change the sign of the x, change this guy, so we get 2, change this guy, we get minus 3. And r squared is 16, so r equals 4. Now, you can also do it really simply. 2gx, so 2g is the coefficient of x. So you literally, you get this number minus 4, divide by 2 and change the sign. So you divide minus 4 by 2, minus 2, change the sign, plus 2. Divide 6 by 2 to get 3, change the sign to get minus 3. Really simple way to do it too. If you don't want to do it this method by this kind of thing here, bringing in the numbers, completing the square method, just half the coefficient, change the sign. And then if you want to do the square root to get the radius, you're gonna have half of four squared, two squared. You're gonna have half of six squared. You don't need to worry about the minuses here because they're squared, which is three squared. And then it's minus C, so it's gonna be minus minus three, which is plus three. So you're gonna have the square root of four plus nine plus three. Square root 16, which is equal to four. So whatever method you choose to use, I like the original method I showed you here, but if you want to rely on formulas, that's perfectly fine too. Pause the video and give these four a try. Okay, so now check your answers. So it's going to be x minus 1 to be squared, or half of 2 change the sign. That's bringing a plus 1 that we don't want. We're going to have plus y minus 1 to be squared, which is also bringing in a plus 1 that I don't want. So I brought in plus 2 that I don't want. I want to only have 1. So I'd have to take away 1 to get back to 1. So we're going to write equals 1. So my center I'll just write as C. Change the signs 1, 1. My radius is the square root of 1, which is 1. This one, x plus 1 to be squared will give me x squared plus 2x plus 1. That 1 I don't need. Plus y plus 4 to be squared will give me y squared plus 8y plus 16. So I don't want that plus 16 either. So I brought in 17. I only want 8, so I'd have to take away 9. So we just write equals 9. So my center is minus 1 minus 4, and the radius is 3. Now, in the exams, a lot of time you're asked to write this type of an equation in this form. So that's why I like kind of doing them this way. This one, we're going to have x minus 5 to be squared to give me x squared minus 10x plus 25 that I don't want. Then I'm going to have y minus 4 to be squared, which is y squared plus 8y minus 8y plus 16. Now I don't want that plus 16 or the 25, so I've brought in a 41. I'd have to take away 49 to get back to minus 8, so minus 49 equals naught, but we're going to write it in one step equals 49. So my center. 5, 4, change the signs, and my radius squared is 49, is 7. This one here, we don't have a y value, so it's going to be x minus 3 to be squared. That's a 9 in there that I don't want. Then it's going to be plus y squared, 
we don't have any other y value now i've brought in a nine i want to get back to seven so i'd have to take away 16 to get back to minus seven so take away 16 or equals 16. so my center is three zero change the sign of the three and there's nothing with the y and the radius squared is 16. four if you didn't get these four right go back and practice them again so what if the coefficient of x and y to be squared is not just one so let's start with this one maybe you want to pause it and try these three questions first first and i'd recommend using the formulas here are probably the best way to do these three questions so if we divide by two we're going to get x squared plus y squared plus 3x minus 7y minus 3 over 2 is equal to naught now i could write x plus 3 over 2 to be squared and bring it in that way but i think in this case it probably is just easier to get half the coefficient and change the sign so the center here is minus 3 over 2 get half the coefficient and change the sign so plus 7 over 2 so using the formula for radius g squared plus f squared minus c we're going to get 3 over 2 to be squared plus 7 over 2 to be squared and then we're going to have it's going to be minus c so it's going to be plus 3 over 2 you can just put this into your calculator it will come out as 4 the reason why it's going to be 9 over 4 plus 49 over 4 plus 6 over 4 so that's going to give me 64 over 4 which is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 so probably easier to use the formula and just a halving method in these cases so let's look at this one divide by 9 we're going to get x squared plus y squared minus 24x over 9 half of that is 24 over 18 minus 12y over 9 and that's going to be 12y over 18 if we divide by 2 and then plus 11 over 9 equals naught so the center half the coefficient change the sign so we're going to have plus 24 over 18 we can simplify that now in a second and then plus again plus 12 over 18 so simplified terms three divides into them so that's going to be eight over three for that one and three into both of these we're going to have four over six or six into both of them two over three so if we got eight over six that's going to be four over three and two over three then the radius the square root of four over three to be squared plus two over three to be squared minus c and c in this case is plus 11 over 9 so we're going to have minus 11 over 9 so the radius is equal to 16 over 9 plus 4 over 9 that's 20 over 9 minus 11 over 9 9 over 9 so the square root of 9 over 9 square root of 1 which is equal to 1 dividing by 9 here x squared plus y squared minus 6x over 9 plus 2y plus 1 over 9 equals naught we want to simplify it down first x squared plus y squared minus 2x over 3 plus 2y plus 1 over 9 equals naught so my center is going to be half the coefficient and change the sign so it's going to be 2 over 6 which is going to be 1 over 3 2 thirds half of 2 thirds of the third and change the sign to give a positive third and then this one here half the coefficient is one change the sign minus one and then my radius the square root of a third squared plus one squared or plus minus one squared if you want minus c which is minus change the sign or if it's a plus it's going to be a minus if it's a minus it's going to be a plus so we're going to have the square root of one over nine minus one over nine so they'll cancel so the square root of one again is going to be equal to one so practice these three questions again if you didn't get them fully right then move on to leaving search circle number four